Hi, it's me again, Wei Tiang here. Today I will solve a math problem that is a lot easier, um, different from what you always see when people post up on forums and so on. Uh, the purpose of sharing actually an easier question is to show you how we can actually start using the model method for younger children, younger students, so that they eventually will become very used to it and they can implement it to their benefit later on when they encounter more difficult questions. So here we go. Jason had 5 more marbles and Hakim. When Hakim gave away 7 of his marbles, he had 27 marbles left. Now, how many marbles did they have altogether? So, when we look at the first line, we can draw a comparison model between, uh, between Jason and Hakim. So, we draw Jason, Hakim. Okay, Jason, we will draw a larger model because they say that he has got five more. So this extra portion here, okay, will be five. All right. The next line, when Hakim gave away seven of his marbles, he had 27 marbles left. This model representing Hakim's marbles actually is the total. So if he were to give away seven, which is here, he will have 27 left. Now. This will represent the total number of uh, marbles that Hakim has. Now, actually, if you look at this, 27 here, uh, this 7 here, is actually here as well, and this is actually 27 as well. For some of the students who can actually see it, they can actually see that this 27 and 7 would be equal to this, without having to draw this extra portion. Okay, But uh, there are some questions that will require a student to actually draw this extra portion, which, next time, which we will show you the next time around. So it's very simple. Um, how many marbles do they have all together? Uh, question mark here. So it is just as straightforward as you take 27 plus 27 plus 14 plus 5, you will get uh, 73. So they had 73 marbles all together. So this is just a very simple question to show you how we can actually use the model method very, very early on so that the students will actually get used to it. And this is how we teach our lessons at Junior Wonders Tuition Center. So all our math lessons are taught like that. We start with the basics and we scale them up to the more advanced questions as the students get more and more competent. Of course, the ones who are very competent will be given more difficult questions to stretch their mind abilities. And that's me, Wei Tiang, signing off. Uh, it's Friday. Have a good weekend. And I will start uploading another video on Monday. Goodbye.